Hello, hello. I am a graphic designer in the board game industry, and one of the tasks that I have to do a lot is making punchboard tokens. Um, and punchboard tokens are uh, really fun to make uh, because they have a lot of cool art and stuff, and they come in all sorts of uh, wacky shapes. Uh, sometimes you get cool spaceships like this. Sometimes they're just simple, uh, good old friendly squares and circles. Uh, but what they all have in common is that they all need a three millimeter outer margin that uh, is beyond the actual trimmed shape uh, where colors and graphics will go all the way to, all the way beyond the edge um, and they also have three millimeters within uh, that trim line that's called the safe zone um, and you never want to have any text or critical information that goes beyond the safe zone uh, so it's important to know where it is um, the thing is, when you have oddball shapes like this uh, spaceship here, or just triangles or odd, odd angles, whatnot, standees, uh, you uh, tend to have to make your own uh, die lines uh, since they aren't already made standard shapes. Um, and uh, that can be a, a little bit repetitive because you're doing a lot of the same task over and over and over again. So uh, whenever I have a, a situation like that, I try to record what I do. Um, and make an action out of it so that I can just hit one button and have it all done ahead of time. Um, so here is an example of one of those actions and I will make this action available on my Patreon uh, that is linked in the description of this video. So check it out um, when you get a chance. Um, but for now, here's how it works. All I have here is a shape that is a simple no fill uh, shape with a black stroke. Um, otherwise it's uh, pretty standard default settings here that were just drawn from the, uh, the rectangle tool. Um, and uh, you can see it's just, uh, there's no curves or any other objects inside of it. Um, nothing up my sleeve. Um, and uh, all I do is while I have that object selected, I click on the play current selection button um, down here in the actions panel. And you can see that it's automatically going through all the steps that I would normally uh, take uh, to create the outer uh, bleed, which is that outside three millimeter uh, area, and the safe zone, which is that three millimeter area inside the trim line. Um, it automatically also turns the trim line magenta, uh, which I, I find is pretty commonly uh, in, used to indicate the trim line. Sometimes it, it's flip where it's cyan and magenta, it doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, it's, it, it's a very handy action to have when you have to make uh, tokens a lot, uh, the, the way I do. Um, so here's an example of what you would do for a shape like this. Uh, say you had this object. Um, it's an odd little shape here. Now, technically, what uh, all of this art would be inside the safe zone. So we're going to do this twice. Uh, and here's what that's going to look like. So first, I'm, I'm selecting this object. It's no fill again and, no, and just the uh, standard stroke. I'm running this action and it's going to make the three millimeter uh, outer trim line that I actually do want. I'm selecting the extraneous shapes here and deleting those, uh, and I'm rounding out the corners of all these other shapes uh, just to keep them uh, nice and, and simple. This internal art, I can just flip and uh, fill it with a just a black silhouette. Uh, this would technically actually be artwork properly, uh, but uh, now I know safely that this artwork is well within the three millimeter trim line, uh, or rather the three millimeter safe zone. Uh, and all I need to do in this case is uh, select the actual trim line that, I, that I've set up here uh, and run the action again. And that's going to basically repeat the entire process one more time. Uh, so now I have a true outer bleed area, uh, the trim line. And then inside here is the uh, three millimeter safe zone that I that I actually wanted. Uh, and inside of that is the actual artwork for that token. Um, so hopefully you like this action. Uh, it's available on my Patreon. Um, that is linked in the description below. Uh, until next time, talk to you later. Bye.